Dude, come on. Uh, what got, do you I want to eat. I want to eat. And I want to finish up. I want to get done. Just get through the intro. What do I do? Stand here? Yeah. Just stand there and you can do whatever. That's fine. So, hi, I'm Andrew Custis. Hi, I'm Andrew Custis. I'm Kenny Mars. And we're here at the Ranger Tug Factory in Kent, Washington. And we're on a brand new Ranger 27 to show you through some fuel calibrations and settings in your Volvo Penta display and Garmin 7600 series chart plotters. The first part of this video we'd like to talk to you about is regarding the Volvo Penta display. There are four buttons that you can operate. The very left button allows you to go back and choose different selections to be able to view a My View display, information related to the engine, uh, fuel display, and vessel display. Personally, I end up using the My View, and I customize each one of these four or five available pods to display the things that I want. If you want to change those pods, you can hit the menu button in the center, scroll down with the right button to replace gauge, and you can go and select either one of these pods to select what you want to view. What I keep on here, you'll see I use engine RPM, gallons per hour, your standard fuel level display, oil pressure, and coolant temp. Those are items that I like to watch all the time while I'm cruising. The main focus today that we'd like on the Volvo Penta display is how to read your fuel level. Volvo allows you to read it in two different ways. Under your My View selection, you'll see an empty and full type of gauge. This is the gauge that we recommend you follow. Many times people will look under the fuel display and see an actual number that's remaining gallons. When you're looking at the fuel gauge, it's important to know, regardless if you're looking at the needle gauge or the view under the fuel tab that shows remaining gallons, that we put the sender in the back of the fuel tank, which means when you're cruising, your fuel's gonna be at the back of the tank, showing that you might have a full tank of fuel when you really do not. We're inside the Ranger Tug Factory here in Kent, and we put the sender, you can see, in the back of the tank so you can access it, but also to show you how this works. The sender sits in here. As the fuel level rises, this actually goes up and will monitor right on the Volvo Penta display, depending on real time of where your fuel level sits. So keep in mind that the fuel level will vary depending on the attitude of the boat. As the bow goes up, the fuel travels to the back of the tank and will increase. Now that Andrew has shown you how to read fuel off the Volvo Penta display, we are going to transition into the 7600 series. Before we set fuel on board, we need to verify two important settings. Step number one, from the home screen we're going to select settings, my vessel, and fuel capacity. Now today we are working with an R27 and we can verify that it does have a 100 gallon fuel tank. You'll want to verify your boat and model to make sure that your fuel capacity is set correctly. Once selected, you're going to hit done and we can now verify our fuel capacity is set. So the second step is to verify that the fuel gauge shown in the bottom here is matching the remaining fuel up on top. To verify you have the correct gauge, Select Menu, Gauge Setup, Fuel Level Display, and we are going to be selecting Use Total Fuel On Board. Now that we've verified the fuel tank settings, you can fill up your boat with fuel. Once full, you're going to select Menu, Fill Up All Tanks, Reset the fuel level to max capacity, yes, and we can verify both gauges are showing 100 gallons remaining. Thanks for watching today's video. For more helpful hints, tune in to RangerTugs.com. See you later. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, yeah, come on. So, so let's do that. We gotta do a little give and take. So you say for more helpful hints, and I'll just say tune in to RangerTags.com. Let's go to RangerTags.com. Yeah.